Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to use GarageBand to record a podcast using two of the Blue Snowball USB microphones. So I'm going to take you back from the very beginning, uh, which is why you're seeing TweetDeck on my screen right now and not something, you know, more helpful. So before you get started, you actually want to search for the audio MDI setup on your Mac and again this tutorial is if you're recording this on your Mac and essentially what you want to do is you want to create a aggregate device choose that and you want to start with your two snowballs and you also want your built-in output which is for the headphones you don't want to use the built-in microphone for this or you won't quite get the recording that you want once you've got all of these locked up and you want to start with the snowballs, not with the output. That's very key. And if you use a different microphone than a blue snowball, maybe a blue snowball and one other kind of microphone, always start with the blue snowball. It There's something about how it's configured. I'm not exactly sure why, but everything I've researched says always start with the blue snowball when you're checking these boxes. So once you've got this set, go ahead and just quit the audio MDI setup. It will save it and then pull up GarageBand. I'm using a new iMac, about a year old, and it has the most recent operating system on it, but it's version 6.0.5 of GarageBand that I want to use because that version has the podcast option. The one that is the newer one, I think is GarageBand 10 in the Mac store, does not have all the features that I'm aware of. So I'm going to go with version 6.0.5. So let me just launch that up. Okay, once it's started, you want a new project. Choose the podcast option, hit choose. Give it a label. And where you save it to is up to you. You can save it to your desktop, GarageBand, totally up to you. I'm going to the desktop for myself. Create. Over here on the media browser, click that over to audio. It'll just generate all these other things, photos or videos, which you don't really need for recording an audio podcast. Over here, you'll see it's defaulted to three options. You can see there's my levels bouncing. Don't worry about those right now. What you want to do is go to your preferences, click on audio MDI, and audio input. You want to switch that to aggregate device, which is the thing we just built in the audio MDI. Click on that. A little warning will come up saying, are you sure you want to do this? You want to say yes. It'll switch over. And there it is. Now, I would actually go ahead and erase these channels. Just, just delete them. So go up to track, delete track, delete track, delete track. Now create some new channels. New track. Again, choose your microphone. Come here. You want aggregate device, again, to start with. Start with the first one on stereo 1-2. And you do, in fact, wish to hear your instrument as you record. Make sure you've got your headphones plugged in. Click that. And there it is. Next, you want to get the second one. New track. And again, this is assuming you're just doing two people recording the podcast. Mono 3. Mono 3 allows for the second channel to come up. This will make sense why in a second. Again, you want to hear the instrument as you record. There it is. Now... You want to kick on Enable Multi-Track Recording. This is the most important part to getting both re recordings done. Click on that. Click on the red arrow, or the red button rather. And now you've got audio on both. So here I am on this microphone. This is the first blue microphone. And here's the second blue microphone. You can see the levels bouncing around. There you go. So now that you've got that done, you can change the levels, these little drop downs here. They will allow you to change the level. And when you're ready to record, just hit record. And now you can record your podcast. And it's key to kind of keep the microphones sort of far away from each other, or, you know, definitely you want to talk right into the blue mi microphones. Talk right into it, get right up on the microphone itself and talk right into it. And you can see there are the levels as the recording. As it's going along, you can see the levels down below. I'm going to hit stop. Now what I like to do, I like to zoom out here. And if I know I'm going to go for a while, 
I take this arrow and I push it out to an hour and five minutes. That gives me plenty of time. Not entirely sure what that arrow does, but I found that it works help. It's very helpful for me for it to be on the other end. So there's that. So there it is. You can zoom in and you can edit. Editing is very easy. If you have an issue, you can edit individually, or you can hold Shift down, highlight both. Apple T, or rather Command T, will split them wherever the, the cursor is. There it is. And if needed, you can delete in between, highlight, and then make an edit. And there's your edit. Now you can also add another sound effects. You can add other channels. Uh, you can add other channels here uh, and then add other sound effects to go in along with it. If you need to edit the level of the audio itself, just click right in there. See, as soon as I click there, I get that little knob. I can raise it up, I can bring it down, whatever it is, I can do more. That's your basic audio editing. It's very simple. But for the most part, if you're recording a solid, you don't have to mess around with that too much. That should do the trick for you. Now, if you need to export it, now you want to get the MP3 version. Let's go to Windows, or actually rather go to Share. Go to Share and click on Send Podcast to iTunes. Give it, a, give it all the correct names. You can do higher quality, but the higher quality you go, the bigger the file is going to get. And I'm going to go for MP3. MP3 is the best option for people who maybe are not always on Apple devices. The MP3 makes it more universal. So you can go musical podcast, which is usually pretty good. Spoken podcast gives you a lower file quality, but allows for more time. The quality is just not as good. Musical podcast is actually quite, quite good. It's actually my preference. Or you can go even higher quality, which will really boost it up. So an hour-long podcast is usually at the musical podcast setting is about 64 meg, which is about on average what WordPress on the standard WordPress website, not WordPress dot blog, you know, not WordPress.com, but an actual website that's running off of a WordPress shell, usually 64 meg is about the limit for what you can upload. That's been my experience at least. But again, you can get different uh, file sharing things. You know, different servers will allow you to do more space, so that depends on you. Once you hit export, actually before you do, up here, go to this podcast track, and over here you'll see you can give it the title, artist name, composer name, and then your description. All of this stuff is the metadata that goes into the file. I always strongly advise to add this stuff. It'll save you a lot more time down the road. But as soon as you're done with that, Send podcast to iTunes, all that, share. I don't need it as an enhanced podcast. I'm not worried about that. And then it will export and launch itself into iTunes. Once it's in iTunes, you can do a few things. Once you've got it there, you can hit Control I, or Command I rather, go to the artwork and drop a logo or some sort of a file there. Uh, I'm going to take one at random here that just happens to be on my desktop. There it is. It's MTV's file for comics. No worry to worry about that. And then if you hit OK, now the artwork is associated with the file. Hit Command I again, go to the artwork. You can highlight that, delete it, hit OK again artwork is gone. So you can change that up. I suggest doing that here in iTunes before uploading it to your website because it marries it once it's there. Once that's done, put it on your desktop or put it somewhere in a folder you can access it really easily. So there it is on my desktop. Now when I go to my website, to my WordPress site, I'm going to upload this file which hopefully will have all that metadata in it that I found, that I built rather, in GarageBand. So there you go. That's how I would record a podcast.